Oftentimes when we think about fire in Washington, we think about the eastern half of the state and east of the Cascades. And it's hard for us to imagine that these forests have much of a relationship with fire because we're standing on the wet side of the Cascades, the west side of the Cascades. So here we are, we're looking around and it's very lush, it's very green. However, given a few weeks of warm, dry conditions, even this live vegetation would be dry enough with low enough humidity that it could burn in a fire. And as you can see around us, there's plenty of fuel to burn. These are among the highest biomass forests in the world because they would have experienced long intervals between fires to accumulate all of that biomass as these trees grow to these majestic sizes. Though when a fire does happen, that means there's plenty of fuel to burn. We're driving into an area that burned at fairly high severity. We're just outside Mount Rainier National Park. We're standing in the middle of the North Peak Fire in a what was a old growth forest. The North Peak Fire occurred in 2017, 25,000 acres on the west side of the Cascades. It was half the size of the city of Seattle. That's a pretty big fire, but we actually think that it was probably one of the smaller fires that historically has occurred on the west side of the Cascades. What it really takes is a warm, dry summer, an ignition source on the landscape, and then what we call east winds. They're extremely warm and extremely dry and can really fan those fires once they get started on the west side of the Cascades. There's every reason to believe that fires on the west side of the Cascades are going to continue to be something in the future. And then if we look over here, Our research group right now is measuring how the fire burned through what it means in terms of how the forest is going to come back, and then what this means uh, as the climate is continuing to warm. The forests that surround us are so key to our identity, and they're so key to our economy. It's really in our best interest to understand how that works and how the forest responds so that we can plan accordingly.